Hello, welcome. Whether you're watching this live or archived. You know, I don't think that that really does a lot. The whole hosting slash raiding thing. Ra raiding thing. Anyway, uh, right, hello Kangafango. Oh, and I'm sorry I can't read all of chat because the top has already been cut off because you've already written so much in chat, which does not bode well for this uh, stream's journey. So, I'll have to start with Albastra saying, Hiya all, which I hope is... Actually, no, that is the beginning. That is the beginning, so nothing's been cut off after all, but it nearly was. Very nearly. Right. Uh, hello, Albastra, welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, Kangafango. Hello. Mr. W. Chat, good morning. Mm, yeah, that's right, sure. Let's go with morning, just for a change. Okay, so then I'll stream again tomorrow morning, good. Uh, just for a change. Uh, chat is already filling up. We've got to stop it, stop it, I tell you. Wait, this isn't helping. I've pulled the lever, but the messages keep come getting in. Ah, phew, phew, phew. Oh, goodness, it's filling up. Shut up then, Bill Pay. XD, hey, <laughs> hey. Wow, that was... Wow, what a way to shut Kango's efforts down. Oh, Right. <clears throat> so. Actually, hold on. There is uh, an alarm going off over there. I have to quickly uh, turn it off. One second. Hello. Right, so, just had to quickly mute that. Um, right. Shadows, Kango Fango, I see we've got a new guy in the RP server. Yes? I, c I can hear it. Mm. I can only just hear it. You mean the alarm? You mean the alarm? Hm. Well, good thing I've turned it off now. Uh, wonder what that's about. Strange. Yeah, I think it's got something to do with drying something, but I'm not... Uh, anyway, right, so we are continuing last week's drive, so we've driven one half where we l went along the, the loch and now we're driving the other half which is going to be the more mountainous area of the... I always get this wrong, uh, well I might as well switch over now, that's already good, so here, again if volume is too loud or too quiet let me know, I can change it, so yes, don't know who it is so we are going to be driving, continue to drive on the West Highland Line extension. For some reason I want to call it the North Northern Lines of Scotland, but it's not. It's the West Highland Line extension. We've driven this scenario, and because of reading chat I was too late to even get bronze. Doesn't matter. Uh, so now we are going to continue our journey from Glenfinnan to Malaik. There we go. Shadis, you sound a bit tired. Everything okie dokie? Yes? I... I'm not more tired than usual. Well, I, well it, does mean, it does mean I'm a little bit tired, but not more than usual. Uh, Shadis, the lol... Joke is that LL is pronounced as a heart in Welsh. Sure, it isn't Wales, but still. Okay, yes. The loch. Yes, I see. Right, so let's start. Continue your journey from Malaik with a train full of oil tankers from Fort William. We rejoin the journey at Glenfinnan. And it's a stormy weather, so that's something to look forward to. Doki Doki and Hunky Punky, he said. Ooh, they've updated the pictures, the background pictures and the loading screen. I haven't seen this one yet. Arlberg... Ah! Arlbergbahn. 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 Interesting. Bergbahn means mountain uh, railway. So Arl is probably the name of the mountain. In Austria, by the looks of it. Oh, and chocolate. Don't forget that. Hunky Dory, I think it is. Yeah, true, but the other, other exists too. Yes.
Chat is warming up. Brackets. 86%. What happens when it gets to 200%? Bahnstrecke Riesa Dresden. So Bahnstrecke means rail route or railway route and the other two were city names chat overload which is when it gets cut off probably I see west coast mainline north I think I've got this one yeah I have that's a nice route should drive on that at some point as well Oh, and here we go. <coughs> Welcome back. We rejoin the oil tanker train on the approach to Glenfinnan. Uh, pull into the platform and await clearance onto the next section of single track line. Okay. There we go. Class 37. We've come from down there, and we're now going up the, this way, up there. Hmm. Looks like they... it's... I think they've even bothered to put in car ambience on the road. They're not actually uh, sounds of cars there, but They've put in, like, ambience, the rushing of cars, so it sounds like there's actually a road there, which is nice. Well, it's not necessarily nice, as in the fact that there is a road there, but it's nice that it's that realistic. How's the, vol the volume? Is it okay? Or too quiet, too loud. There we go. Open the doors. Oh, wait. Uh, make a call, which is this one. Right? Yes. 2278 Sailor Banner E over. The train on the West Coast Mainline North is interesting too, isn't it? Cla two, BR class eight, six, eight, six. Standard, Yeah, well, locomotive rather. Remind me, how do you find someone on Discord? A friend has made an account and I'm trying to find the search bar for it. I'm not entirely sure about that. Please exchange your token for the next two, section two, to help. Token apart for Arisaig. Arisaig? Arisaig? When you have the token and line ahead is clear. The section ahead is blocked. Hold your position. Okay. So we're expecting a train to come ahead, to come down. <coughs> uh, Alright, hello Chris, yes. You're the same color as Kango for me at the moment. Hey, uh. Hey, Shardai is always fine. Got him now, don't worry. Great, that's good. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Passenger, a passenger train. Another, another class 37 by the looks of things. Or is that something different? Nope, another class 37. Oh, we can get a meeting angle here. Two. Uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> Scott Rail. Yes, very nice. Two two seven eight. Signal Bangalore. Are you receiving? Over. Two two seven eight. Signal Bangalore. State your message. Two two seven eight. Section ahead is now clear. Press send to accept token. Over. Okay. Send. Two two seven eight. 
Going within two RC sections looking on display. Over. Two, two, seven, eight. Going within two RC section talking confirmed. You have permission to pass the direction stop board with Glenfin and proceed to the DSB at RC. Over. Two, two, seven, eight. Understand now your permission to pass the DSB at Glenfin and proceed to the DSB at RC. Out. Right, so here we go. Just waiting for the brakes to completely release. We're off to see my life, the wonderful my life of Scotland. Don't type too much in chat, otherwise I can't read it all because it will get cut off. Yeah, I'm not going to read chat at the moment because I need to keep an eye on speed and the gradient is changing which means that I need to <coughs> I need to fiddle with the throttle to keep our uh, speed good. That was the AWS just then. Oh, look at that little waterfall down there. Interesting. <laughs> all of this heather. It's even animated. Looks so nice. So let's read chat. Shadows, just so you know, we can't hear either of you talking when the radio voice is on. Oh, come on. Surely you can distinguish between my voice and the computer voice. <laughs> Chris is green for me. Darker green. Yay, 37. Of course it is. Why would it... What else would it be? Maybe a black five? Two, two, seven, eight, signal, six, banner V, over. Shadows, Kango, Fango, just letting you know, we have someone else in the BGC server. One of my IRL friends. Oh, nice, exciting. That's nice. Get your tickets and money ready, boys. Y'all are going... Y'all are going to the T Czech Republic to visit a restaurant that server drinks... That serves drinks and food by G-Scale locomotives. 
Okay, I would like to visit that. Even if it's just to look at it. Um, hello, because the, the trip would in itself have great value to me. Uh, hello, Marky, welcome. By the way, did you see the second draft of the server avatar that I had posted in uh, sh uh, number sharing or shop sharing? Hey, uh, West Highland Line extension, this one. Marky's draft. Marky's dark orange for me. Hm. For me, it's blue. In chat, purple in mine. Ah. Oh, nice. Reminds me of the Thunderbirds. <laughs> it does. Although that, I believe, was in Austria or Switzerland, maybe? Also, Marky, you can set your chat name and it is to a specific color if you click on if you click the chat identity button to the left of the chat input field and then name color brackets if you don't want it to be random uh, every time. Good. Okay, that is true. Pretty sure it was Switzerland. Yeah, me too. Pretty sure. This one is nice because you've actually got all these levers and buttons still, or levers, depending on how I want to say it. Because in more modern locomotives, it's um, you've still got levers for the throttle and stuff, but you don't have these dials and buttons. Mostly LCD screens and things like that. It'll depending on the locomotive, but in a lot of them, it is the case. So you can see, this is getting considerably more hilly. Some might even say mountainous. Oh, look at that! Deer! I think he's never seen a locomotive before. Okay. Bye. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> <coughs> Is that just the mile post marker? Yes, I think it is. And we're about to go downhill. So if I'm not careful, things will really go downhill from here. Actually, let's save. Why not? Dear, oh dear, or dear, dear, or dear. <laughs> that face! Yeah, which British diesel locomotive do you think you'd enjoy driving IRL the most? <sighs> I mean, class 37 does seem nice. It does seem nice. But then you've got the DMUs as well, which are probably a bit more responsive. Although, I don't know, maybe a shunter for the first try. That's a bit, little bit less intimidating. <laughs> He's like... <gasps> To be honest, I'd rather see a deer than a deer in the woods. Okay. Okay, that's perfectly acceptable. Foxler, very nice. And yes, we're about to crest the hill. So I'm actually not going to increase the throttle, even though we are decelerating at the moment, because soon we'll probably start accelerating again. Right? Just look at this outcropping here, just curving around, very nice. You can hear the flanges screeching. Oh, you think we've got a guide rail there, in case it derails, so it doesn't actually fly completely off of the tracks. See, I told you, I told you I'd need to break, but I got distracted. <laughs> well, there I go, 29 points. Cabin lights I can turn on and off. Mm. 
here's a question. When they're talking in the beginning, was I already supposed to have set off while the conversation was going? So as soon as I got the clear signal? Or... Because I've been waiting for the conversation to finish before setting off. Does that make me late? Is that what's going on? Look at how high up we are already. Look at look at that down there. You can see there's another loch in the distance. Well, you can't remember, but you could a second ago. If I go over here, you can see it uh, just down there through the trees a bit. You can glimpse it occasionally. Oh well. On this side's a bit better. <coughs> yeah, you can see it down there. Oh, come on. There you go. I don't think this one has dynamic brakes. If it did, those would come in quite handy here. Actually, maybe the loco brakes could do the job. Ah, the loco brakes might be the thing for this. Because the loco brakes, I can do a more gentle application. Oh, look at that! We've got rain! Look at that, it's actually started raining. And the vipers are going. You can see the vipers here. Back and forth and back and forth. You've actually got a handle there as well, a manual handle, so you can actually uh, do it manually as well. So you can do it left or right manually, if you only need to do it a couple of times. But you can also turn it on automatic, onto automatic. I'll leave it on automatic. Oh, this is very cozy, isn't it? Also, you can turn them on separately. So if I go over here, not there, uh, down here, you can see I can do this one manually as well, clear it. And I can also turn this one on, like that. So they're separate. They've got little valves here you can open. <coughs> We flattened out a bit. Interesting. I'll reach out soon, don't worry. Oh, look at that, you've got such a nice view of the waters. By the way, the locomotive brake is this lever right here. And you can see from the outside now both are on, but they're not synchronized because I didn't activate them at the same time. Such a nice sound. Do 
Don't let me reach out again. Should I say NOH? Probably. Ah, yes, that's the dear idea moment, yes. No idea, should I say. You were probably right with your actions. <laughs> what actions do you mean? Oh, you mean the thing about the waiting until it's finished, yeah. W. Scratch that. <laughs> should I press that again? You had the camera higher up before. It was higher up and then lower down again. Uh, Yazies, we've got Rainsies. There we go. There go the vipers. Ah! The locomotive brake hissed and the brakes squealed. Yeah. Clicky click. Yeah, that is the viper. The, the window wiper. The vipers that are clicking. Ah, uh, can he stop? Wailed the engine, but it was too late. No, the last bit wasn't supposed to be in quotes. <laughs> XD, XD. Sure. Here we go. Oh, ferns, very nice. Let's see if I can get a nice shot like this. Shouldn't be speeding here. And I, I, I don't just mean that we, it is advisable to not speed, I mean that we should not, that we will probably not be speeding here. There we go. This might be nice. Need a little bit more throttle. Thirty-five. Oh, multiple. Oh, the thing. Yeah, multiple units. Good. Thirty-five. Yeah. I mean, I could have it like this. Mm. Yeah, sure, you can see a bit more like this. No. Yeah, why not? Although the rain gets in the way a bit more. Ah, I think I've seen pictures of this little island in the lock. I think these one, I think this, or maybe it's some of those back there, I'm not sure which ones, but I think I've seen pictures of this RL. And look at that, lodding. Right. <laughs> oh, this could be a very nice opportunity as well to get maybe a thumbnail. Maybe, maybe. Something like this, perhaps? And the thing is, uh, these trees on the right, these ones, they look 3D, but no, they are actually billboards. <laughs> You don't really notice it, do you? Ooh, embankment.
Or something like that. I'm not sure how the lyrics go exactly, but it was a nice road bridge there. That also looks really good. Look at the little houses and the little ferns and wet area down there. Listen to this. Oh, it didn't have one. I thought that bridge would have the other sound, but it didn't. Usually they do. Even on this map. And the bonny, bonny banks of the Flamon. Indeed. You see the road down there. Well, that might also be quite good. Uh, yeah, the, you can't really see the rain that well. Luke did not mean to get all of that info up. I have a suspicion that I was supposed to start as soon as I got the green signal, the clear signal, because the ETA says I'll arrive roughly half a minute too late, even though I've been constantly going at the speed limit. So I have a suspicion that that is what I was supposed to do. Ooh, factory down there. Oh no, trans wait, transformer? Is there a hydroelectric power plant around here? Oops. No, it's just a transformer. <coughs> oh, look at that old platform. Oh, well, still used platform on the left. Oh, very nice. Hello. Yes, sorry, there's not a passenger train. Yeah, he was checking his watch. <laughs> Yep, that was the radio. I need to change the frequency of it apparently, which I have done now, so that's good. I can turn on the cab lights and it looks like this. You see. I think I'll leave them off because it's only a short tunnel. I'll need to use some throttle again. So close to speeding there. Nice small viaducts here. Indeed, train. By train, I mean locomotive because I was using the locomotive brake. Also look out this way. You can see the loch there. We can actually roll down the window as well, so we get a better view of it. Well, let's close the window again. 
Well, let's leave it open a little bit. Because we've got some nice rainy air outside. Let's just do it like this. You know what, let me read chat. The rain sound is great. Yes, it is. Yes, tr truly lovely. Thanks, Ease. Wait, what? Aww. Ah, thanks. Aww. Train too small. Move it to position. Well, yeah, but the train is yellow in the front. Aww, too late. On the bonny, bonny banks of... Sure. This is embankment. Change here for Circle, District, Northern, and Bakerloo line services. Oh, is that true? Do those all connect there? By the way, you didn't read the messages from 8.30 to 8.33 yet, just so you know. Oh, didn't I? Oh, I doesn't list... It's tough. I, I can't see the timestamps for some reason. Which ones didn't I read? Uh, not sure. I've got the entire list. Let's see, I've read all those. Uh, wow, it's a cute, okay. Uh, okay. Chat is overloading, check chat overload. Search bar, can't hear you. Hello, yes. Uh, dark green. Thunderbird, Switzerland, dear. Diesel locomotive. The link. Mm. Actions. Yeezys. Okay. Clicky clack. I can stop. Position. Squeaky window. Sneaky window. Sir, this is a class 37, not private hotel. <laughs> I'm not sure which messages you mean that I haven't read. I can't, I, I am not sure. I, maybe they didn't arrive. I looked through the list, I didn't see them. <laughs> the exclamation mark noise was great, thanks. Sure is, I've checked. It is true. Ah, yeah. <laughs> sure is, it's fine. You did read them all. Sure is, out of context. I mean, if you want to make that, Go ahead, do that. Make the compilation. Just make sure to tell people that it's out of context. <laughs> I just thought you might have missed them because you read the Bonnie Bonnie Banks one. But the ones above you only read later on. All right, that makes sense. Yes, I just saw that. Also, you can enable time sense in the cog menu chat below. Uh. Show mod icons. Doesn't don't need that. Chat appearance. Is it in that chat appearance? No. No, it is oh timestamps, there we go, for new messages. Aha, thank you very much. Do it! I wouldn't know how to. I never ha I've never made a YouTube bit. Well, if you edit it, I can upload it. Uh, below chat. Yes, I've got it. I was looking for the actual thing inside it. <coughs> right, uh, what was I doing? Uh, eating dinner? No. Sleeping? No. What was- Oh, right, I was driving the locomotive. Oh, that- Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Oh, no, no, I get it. I remember. Of oh, the church. Yes. Quite a lonely spot for a church. Hmm. Look, if I turn off the wiper, 
the other one's still going, that's why I still hit the clicking. But if I turn this one off, you can see how quickly this all becomes really hard to see. So it does help a lot in this game. Come on, there you go. Here. Yes, hello Chris, welcome again. Here, you're here, great. Just using the locomotive brakes to <clears throat> slow the train down a bit uh, when we're, so that we don't speed, hopefully. And this is really nice atmosphere. The clouds have become even more stormy. The moment it's flat, but it'll, it will go on a decline again soon. Although, to be honest, I would love to drive any locomotive in real life. I don't... I've not found one that I would not want to drive, because I've never driven one in real life. So, yeah. I mean, of course I would love to try a steam locomotive, but also a diesel locomotive, but also an electric locomotive, and others as well, really. Just, if I can... If I had the opportunity to drive one, then I would gladly take that. As long as it doesn't come at the cost of something which is more dear to me. Ooh, nice curvy viaduct. Hmm. I don't know why they always choose ducks for these. Huh. I have made some time back, because I have been going 13 point something, rather than actual 13, so I've been speeding, but within the mile. Oh, is this the ocean up there? That could be the ocean. Because we are going to the coast. From a like, you can actually get a ferry to the Isle of Skye which is very nice. I've never been there, but I've seen films and pictures, and it is very nice. Although, I mean, I'm not sure if this is the ocean. Oh, look at that. Going over the viaduct and straight into the tunnel. That is so nice. I mean, it does look like mountains are going pretty much straight all around, but it might curve. I'm not sure. Oh, and we're going uphill again, which means I need throttle. Going up a 1 in 48, <coughs> which if you don't know how to read that, it means, so 1 in something means it goes one unit of measurement up in however many, uh, many units of the same measurement it goes horizontally. So a 1 in 1 would mean it would go at a 45 degree angle. It would take one, uh, it would go up one vertical unit for every horizontal unit, a 1 in 2 means it's going up 
of that. So it's, it takes two horizontal units to go up one vertical unit. So one in 48 means it takes, for example, 48 meters to go up one meter. Very nice out there. You can see the rain going by. Now, is this the ocean or not? I honestly don't know. But we are in a tunnel, so that's good. <laughs> Nah, my, it looks like there are uh, hills or mountains going all the way around, so it's probably not the ocean. Even though technically, I mean, you might say that there's land going around the entire ocean, because if you go to the edge of the ocean and you carry on going around the edge, then you'll eventually get back to where you were, meaning you've gone all the way around. And it, it, it just depends on how you see it. I'll read chat again soon. When we're at the summit. Which will be soon. Oh, with this little bit of water to the left. Very nice there. Please, Dale. Please, Dale. Right, so let me read chat. <clears throat> Shredder is out of context compilation in, uh, in brackets, ha ha ha, compiled by Mr. W. L. Maybe. Here. Now it's gone up there. We'll never catch the spider at this rate. Oh, don't worry, I can catch it right now. See? There, yeah, I can see. Caught the spider. Uh, just saw a rainbow near my house. Oh, very nice. It's been a while since I've seen one. Nice. Oop, now it escaped through the ceiling mounted lid. <coughs> really? I've driven a class 50 IRL. Oh, very exciting. <laughs> I have not been so fortunate uh, in that area of life, so in the locomotive driving area of life. Where did you drive that? Unless you've already written in chat. I'll, I'll, well, hold on a second. Sorry for brushing up against that. I'll read chat and then I'll ask again if you haven't already said that. Wow, that's amazing. Did you have fun? Of course you had fun. Where's Ghost Lady? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, there's the BR Class 50. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, was on the Bodmin and Wenford Railway in Cornwall. Ah, they offered a driver experience run star during their diesel gala for 50 pounds, drove it for about five miles. That is interesting. There is also <clears throat> a, um, there is a footplate experience. There's a preserved railway near where I am. They run steam locomotives. There's a footplate experience there. Not sure if you can actually drive, if they let you drive the locomotive. But, I'm um, yeah, but that is also quite expensive. Not sure about that. Not sure about that. I didn't do that much research in it. I think they do. Chris, I think she's hiding in the ghost couch. Oh, maybe. Marky, that's amazing. Was nice going back up the line, clanging, clanging on the 140 grade. <laughs> 
Uh, I've been in an SR West Country Class cab once in Swanage. Oh, me too. But that's about it. Yeah, I was in the... I mean, I, that was many, many years ago. Although it was a great experience. I've had a cab ride in the 37.2, which was nice. Yes, very nice indeed. Lovely. One of these. We couldn't see it. Try dice. Oh, what couldn't you see? Could you go... Could you get it back and show us? Oh, USS. Show USS. I don't... I don't have a United States ship. Sorry. Uh, the locomotive driving era of life. No, not era. Area. The lo lo that area of life. The Bodmin and Wentford Railway, which is featured in Marquis 78900's Cornish Railways route. Ah, ha, ha. Clagging was right, Shadows. Not clanging. Yes, clagging. I wasn't sure. I thought clagging was right. Good. So, let us continue. I like the bird sounds as well in the background. At some point I should try to take a steam locomotive over this line. Nice view up there. Hello. I do like the reverberation in the tunnels. We're stopping at Arisaig. Ar Arisaig? I think that's how it's pronounced. Arisaig, which is in about two and... Two and a third mile. my on the speed mostly. Oh, tractor. Hello. It would be nice if the Settle to Carlisle line was updated to feature things like this, like these rocks and things like that. Because I know there are quite a few rocky areas on that, and the Settle Carlisle is a bit old. I mean, it is still a great route. I do really, really like it, and you've seen it, I've driven on it. But it would be nice if it were updated at some point. Oh, we're on a 1 in 50 downhill grade. That is. Interesting. Just using the local brake to hopefully keep us un in con under control.
Oh, and by the way, um, right, if you're, if you've got trains, if you've, uh, if, I mean, if you've uh, had a look at my Scar Hills route for trains, it's free on the DLS. There is, there is the TRS-19 version of the route, and that only has the multiplayer session for it. Uh, there have, there were a few issues with it. There was an asset which the download station saw as third party, which is probably a bug, considering that I have not installed any third party assets, ever. Well, at least not on TRS-19. So I replaced that and I resubmitted the, the updated version, so... If you've got that route, if you ran into that issue, uh, the the updated version of the session, the multiplayer session, should be on the DLS soon, either today or tomorrow, probably. So yes, just want to announce that because I know that everybody who downloads my routes looks at the stream. So now you've all got that information. There we go. Our our is saying. Ah, I thought I just caught it, but I didn't. I can feel the slack in the train because when I brake, when it brake, it, it slows down, and then when I release the brakes, it speeds up again more rapidly than it usually does. Ooh, very nice. Going down to fifteen soon. <coughs> Yes, yes, I know. Let me save. Just in case. Right, so here we go. <coughs> Train brake. Just slowing us down a bit for the 15 miles an hour speed limit and then to come in to stop at the platform. Hey, we're on time. Great. Signal is yellow, which means that the token signal is probably red because I need a uh, New token, probably. Do not speed. Thank you. And stop. Right. Uh, make call. Right. Two two seven eight signal on the over. Two two seven eight signal on the station message over. Two two seven eight standard direction stop alert. Clear of the signal and request the equipment to proceed. Over. Uh, right, what was it supposed to press? Send? I forget. Receive? Alright, oh, blocked. So we're expecting a trainer come to come out. So I'll just quickly save. And then I can re-chat while we're waiting. To quote Wikipedia, Originally used to describe the exhaust of steam locomotives, Clag is a term describing the often spectacular, particularly blackened, as in class 37, or white smoked, 
in the class 55, exhaust emissions of many older British diesel locomotives, especially classes 52 and 55. Yes, and now that you say that, I do remember reading about that. No, not, well, hearing about that in a video, so, that was watching, so yes. I'm not supposed to be... There is a train, yes, there is a train coming. I <laughs> just wasn't sure. Actually, let's see if I can maybe get a bit of a better image. Maybe with a diff another loco in it as well, when it comes over. I wonder why are the birds not affected by the Doppler effect? Are they riding the train? They Are they flying alongside it? We want answers, Dovetail Games, and Tom's Interactive. <laughs> Is. Are there instrument lights? I don't think there are. I key. I do not think there are. But I can check again. There we go. That's a nice shot. This one again. Well, that one's got the thing on the bottom, but that'll be cut off probably as well. Right, so, the signal should clear soon. Actually, sign uh, thing. No, there are, no, there are no instrument lights. Oh! Look at that, the rain stopped. Two, two, seven, this is signaler, are you receiving? Over. Two, two, seven, eight. Signaler, Bano B. State your message. Over. Two, two, seven, eight. Section ahead is now clear. Press send to accept token. Over. Two, two, seven, eight. I'll see you to my league. Section token on display. Over. Two, two, seven, eight. I'll see you to my league. Section token confirmed. You have permission to pass the direction stop word RFC and proceed to Mali. Over. 2278. Understand I have permission to pass the DSP at RFC and proceed to Mali. Oh. Malik. The prince said not Malik, but Malik. Interesting. Malik. No one knew it was prince that way. Anyway, chat. Right. Um, tractors passing each other. Oh. Class 37s are nicknamed tractors. Ah, nice. Didn't know that. Yep, I knew about that. Well, I didn't. And 55s are nicknamed Deltix. Ah, uh, where was I? It jumped again. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? There we are. Marky, and some 50s were nicknamed Hoovers, right? I think it depends on the engine. Yep, Hoovers. Ah, so does it apply to all 50s or only some? I think. All, I think. Alright, lovely scenery, sure, nice. Tom's Interactive, Doctor Games. Uh, let me read shit. I, yeah. It is it really still raining? Paradise? No, it's not. I've turned them off. Imagine a Western in BR Blue large logo livery. Okay, done. Um, right. Or a Fort you warship. Now that would be marvelous. Uh, <clears throat> magnificent. Yes. Charles, do you like the radio system in this route? I really do. Yes, me too. Now that I know how it works. Oh, now I get it because of the two types of tractors. No idea I didn't before. Charles, also, could you show us the route again on the map? I'm assuming you mean the actual map. Sure. Uh, don't mind this. It's just a, a thing. Actually, very interesting. A little. It's it's a film from 1933 about a chalk quarry, where they were mining stuff. Probably chalk. It's closed now. Right. So we're going to Malag, which is up north. And when I say up north, I really do mean up north. On this scale, anyway. Come on. It should be uh, some not that far north. Oh, where is it? One second. I should be able to find this without too much of an issue. Is 
that too far north? That's Kai, so... Oh, no, there we go, Malaik, there we go. So, we started the last session at Fort William, which is... One second. Which is here, Fort William. We went up here to Glenfinnan. And this session, we are going from Glenfinnan all the way up here. Oh, so it was the ocean. It just... Yeah, that came in here through that. It was the ocean. Yeah, so... Uh, Glenfinnan uh, up to through here. We stopped at Arisaig, Arisaig, and we're going to Malig. Uh, this bit, which is so it's just here for William over there. That bit. And if you don't know where the United Kingdom is, it's there. You can see it. It's night. Uh, oh, it is night. Right. So let's continue to read chat. Haha. We're going to Malaik, we're going to see the trials. Alright, we're going to Malaik, we're going to see the trials. Malig, right? I think that is correct, I'm not completely sure. There we go, 30 speed limit. Crank it, crank it to full. But be ready to slow down. <laughs> Ah yes, so that is the ocean over there. Is that the Arctic Ocean or what? I think it is. Or is, it, or is it still the Atlantic? I'm not sure where the borders between the Atlantic and the Arctic Oceans, like on the coast of, the, of Great Britain. Also, did you notice I spotted the AWS? Even though I didn't hear it, I saw that it were, the light came on. Did you see? If not, then go back and watch it. It did happen. I promise. <laughs> Wait a minute. Max speed 80 miles an hour. Well, that is optimistic on this line. Just for good measure, let's save again. Just in case it crashes. In either of those two ways. Or in both. Oops. Almost sped. Almost sped. From this angle, a bit lower down, you can look out this window a bit better. Hmm. I do really like the heather on the side of the tracks. Because I've been to Dartmoor and all the, also some other forests in the uh, south on the south coast of Great Britain, southern England, so in Devon and uh, in Dorset as well, and Sur well, Somerset, yeah, and that is very iconic of those kind of areas. Yes, I realize this very much in the north, but still, it is quite similar to some areas I've been in. Look at this. Very 
very nice. Oh wait, that was my train! Gotta catch it at the next station. <laughs> no, no. There we go. So much heather. Very nice. I just like the color of it. I like it a lot. But we are about a minute and a half early now, so that is good. Should have no issue uh, arriving on time. Got about four and three quarter miles to go to Malik. Oh, and it started to rain again. How nice. Let's just do this manually for now. Oh, listen to that. You can actually hear the rain on the cab. It's very faint, but listen to it. Turn the volume up a bit. That is very nice. Right, so now try and turn the volume down a bit because then I'm going to continue speaking normally. Right, that is very nice that you can hear that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep the other wiper off because I don't need it at the moment. I just don't need it at the moment. Just don't need it. Although, you do have the manual for the locomotive up here. <laughs> no, it's it's. Electric shock, rescue, and treatment! There you go. Negative 8 points, minus 8 points, that's fine. Oh, what a nice little bridge. Okay, going downhill now, so I don't need that much throttle anymore. a little bit of dust or something in my eye, I had to clear it, but I, uh, that was the, the result of that was that I didn't have my hand on the keyboard to apply the local brake to not exceed the 30 miles an hour speed limit. True story. No, it actually is a true story. Ooh, bridges. Got to slow down for fifteen. Yes, yes. I know. Don't worry. Slowed down a bit too soon for fifteen there. But it is very nice.
Again, you've got the Heather and the Ferns. Heather and Ferns always go together, I find. Can I open the door? Oh, look at that, I can open the door. And from the outside, you can see the door is actually open. Oh, that is very nice. Oh, and I do like this little dirt track. It reminds me of the train's asset. Only that wasn't nearly as high quality as this. Oh, look at that little phone boot, uh, box. Okay, close the door again, please. There we go. And there's the ocean. You can see it. It's blue. And straight. Ooh, coming up on a 10 speed limit. Whatever they got in store for us, I wonder. Apparently a station. Oh, come on, that speed limit came too soon. The local hadn't touched it on the bottom yet. I guess it was as soon as I entered the crossing. Hmm, that's probably it. So what is this? This is... Morar? Wait, but that means that... Wait, but the dragon said that... Uh... No, we need to get out of here. Immediate... Oh wait, no, I need to make a call. One second. Um... Need to hold the microphone one second. Okay, goodbye. Clonk. Right. Okay, we need to get out of here because... Uh... You <laughs> you do not want to be in Modar any time now. That is not good. That is dangerous. If you don't get the reference, ask Kango Fango in chat. I mean, you wouldn't get the reference, but I'm sure he'd like to explain. Oh, look at that, the ocean. See, told you there was an ocean there. I love that sound. That is a good sound. Bridge. Okay, well then, let's read chat, let's read chat. Oh, I just imagined what the UK's diesel hydraulics would look like with split head coats. <laughs> heart, heart. Sure. I didn't see it. Congrats on not getting caught out. Haha. <laughs> DWS. Optimistic. <laughs> Hello, trainer Pearman66. Hello, yes. Dartmoor, yes, and Exmoor. Heather is beautiful. It is. Also, it is tasty. Um, well, somewhat tasty. Uh, especially on hilly terrain and in large quantities. Yes. Uh, have you ever seen Heather IRL? If so, raise your hands. There you go. 
Good to everyone. Me, haha. <laughs> oh, and type in chat that you've raised your hands, otherwise I'll have to guess. I'd have to guess. Great. Shares. Ooh. <clears throat> That's nice. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Yes. Prezi then we'll be able to hear it even better. <laughs> no. If you don't know, Z or Z turns off the locomotive's engine. <laughs> this ain't a roller coaster, ya know. Well, the tracks. That was a hint, by the way. Oh, it's going too fast. Thanks for the hint. <laughs> Heather and dry ferns. A common sight in Dartmoor. Indeed. An occasional flock of gorse bushes. Flock. Morar! XDD. Ha 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 ha. That's brilliant! Ah! Someone will get us all! We're doomed! Very much an inside joke. Wednesday's tabletop role playing. Reference, yes. Oh, goody, chat reading time. Well, it's over now. Well, not for long, I know. For about one and three quarter miles, I th I'd say. At least that's how long we've got to go until we're at uh, Mal Malik. Oh, look! A puddle. <laughs> Indeed, locomotive. Indeed. Yes, again. <laughs> there you go. Four, uh, four flyby view was requested. There you have it. You're lucky I saw that. Message, I mean. As we're to stop at East Malik, which is the siding, and then we'll probably continue into the platform or to the station proper. Maybe there is a train that is in the platform now? Well, I can slow down a bit anyway. Not that much, but still. Also, ocean! Look at it! Those are islands uh, back there. Those are islands, those mountains. Oh, look at that! Bus! Haha! <laughs> I'll beat you yet! I'll beat you yet! Well, I might. Very nice. Oops! That's not very nice. Okay, one second. I want to look quickly. Okay, looked at it. I want to see if there were birds on the rocks, but no, that's trains. Well, I mean, uh, technically they I won't beat them because I have to stop by the siding, but I've beat them to the siding, maybe. Using some train brake now. Again, ocean. Over there. The bus seems to have disappeared. How fortunate. There we go. Uh, let's do full service break. Oh, driving quality. 
Well, that's not very nice. Fire service was a bit rough. But, uh, then again, I don't have any passengers who would complain, so... Not sure about that. Although, this might be a good... Opportunity. Ah! Just got it in time. Sure. Driver, please set the points to access the loop siding, use the ground frame on the right hand side of the track, and then set the other man other manual points. Proceed into the loop siding and stop by the shunter who is waiting for you. Okay, so where do I need to go? Loop siding, which is this one. So that one's been set, so I need to set this one and that one, and that will guide us onto the loop siding. Good. Yes, I've seen the five mile an hour speed limit, don't worry. Oh, trampoline. They do like to place those in this game. On routes, I mean. Okay, come on. Bit of slowing down, still to go. A little bit more, please. Come on, that did it too soon. You saw it on the bottom. I still had a little bit to go to where the sign was, and it still gave me the penalty beforehand. I think it's when I start. Yeah, that's my fault. I think it's when I start. When I'm on the bit of track. When I'm on the bit of track, then it starts giving me the penalty, no matter where the actual speed sign is. On the bottom. Which they really should have told me, but yeah, it's not that important. I do really like the stormy atmosphere of this place now. Malik and Storm. What a combination. What a combination. Oh hey, I've arrived at the terminus and it's not one in the morning yet. Welcome to Malik, if that is indeed how to pronounce it. Ah, look at that. Actually, right. Oh! He worked- oh no, he doesn't. I thought he worked like a signal, like he lowered his arm when I've passed the signal to indicate to trains that they're not supposed to go, but apparently not. Oh, look at that, more seagulls. And they're eyeing me. They're eyeing me, I tell ya, actually. Nope. Haha. <laughs> okay, well, might as well stop here. Well, I suppose I could go a little bit further. Oh, wait. Oh, it sees that I've stopped, so let's just stop here. Press the cabin, make call button to request uh, two, two, seven, eight, uh, signal signal run. Good, now please return the section token and then uncouple the wagons. Okay, I've done that. So you need to send it. And now we need to uncouple the wagons. Uh, this is the loco on the right, so I need to uncouple it there. Right? Was that not correct? Drop off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Come on. No? 
Maybe I need to go a bit further. Maybe I need to go a little bit further. Actually, tell you what, let's save first. And then... Maybe it's because I'm not, I've not stopped on the, the entire train on thing. Well, I, I can't do that. Maybe I'll try going just a little bit further, and then I'll try decoupling it again. That's better. Now let's see if I uncouple them. Um... This is a bit... odd. Does anyone know what's going on here? Let's go, let's say this is 667 and 666, 73, 29, 5, 6, 2, 5, 4, 6. No, those are the wagons. Also, nice touch of the seagull up there. Well, maybe I have to go back a bit because the thing is here. Although it says zero feet, so decouple them. Look here. Decoupled it. Yeah, a seagull. <laughs> uh, okay, well in that case, let me try to reverse. To stop on the marker. Okay, can we all agree this is on the marker, right? Zero feet, Malik loop siding, zero feet, Malik. It says drop off A2667, A2666, A2723, those numbers, which are these numbers, I've double checked them, at Malik loop siding, which is this, you can see the thing back there. Okay, drop off. Ah, now it works. Strange. Please take a look forward to the buffer stops. So... That is unfortunate. Oh, it counts this already as being stopped here. Does it? Uh, yeah, it did. That is strange, because it said zero feet. Uh, down there, it said zero feet. Which means it, I was there. You know what? No, I feel cheated. I'll... No, I'll try that again, because I got silver. Because I did save before it, so let's let's just try that again. Let's just try that again, and let's see um, what that changes. Shadows, could you show us a four-view drive-by? I did. By any chance? Right, nice, thanks. It is really a flyby, though. I meant with airplane. I mean, with airplanes and rockets and things like that. Sure, but trains don't fly, do they? And the camera doesn't fly by either. Well, it did. It just didn't. It just hovered in the air. No, you won't. No, you won't. Love the Scania touring. Breaking news. Long distance coach bus disappears on the spot to in my on the spot in Malaig. Area undergoes inspections. No traces of baggage, driver or passengers. Local I like how passengers are listed last on that list. Baggage first, right? Then then the driver and then well then passengers. Local people baffled. We'll keep you updated. Scotland news out. And that's how you read a news report. 
Uh, Shard Eyes, that would have been brilliant though. <laughs> Not really sure. Break, breathtaking atmosphere. Two, two, seven, uh, two, two, seven, uh, pitch drops right down. <laughs> Hmm, genuinely clueless. XD, the seagull up there. <laughs> yeah, try going back, try nice. Fake single man and seagulls. <laughs> yeah, good clip. Hmm, try nice. If this doesn't work, try stopping on the marker with a locomotive. Yeah. Never mind, it did work. Yeah, but the thing is, it lied to me. It said zero feet. I'm there. But I wasn't there. Oh, there we go. Right. Off. I am still coupled, right? Right, 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 right. Yes, good. Now go back. Come on. Try to do this as quickly as I can. Full stop there. We go to decouple. Did that work? Yes. Okay. And this is already counting down, so great. I think we should be on time this time. <laughs> you can see they're plotting. Yeah, these two are the leaders. They're the other ones who are plotting. This one is... <clears throat> I meant this one is the one that's keeping an eye on the train. And this one's the lookout to see if anyone's listening. Very suspicious. Oh, you can hear thunder now. Oh, look at the clouds. You can hear thunder claps occasionally. You can hear the seagulls. Very nice. Let me just finish reading chat now. Hmm. Right. Yeah, same. That's why I clipped it. Is it just me, or is this week going half wrenchingly slowly? It might just be because I'm waiting for Sunday. That's probably it. Hair wrenchingly. Probably that. Oh, crumbs. He's that far back? Get popcorn. Make yourself comfortable, boys. We could be here for a while. <laughs> also, I said it is. R is it really? Not it is. Oh, right. Sorry. Haha. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, the seagulls are 3D. Yes, they are. I thought they were 2D billboards that always face the camera. Also, Mr. W, maybe it does seem a bit slower, yeah. Shut up, Kangafango. I had that feeling. I had a feeling that would happen. Dang it! It! Well done. This load will keep the Malaik fishing fleet going for a while. Oh, it was for the, for the fishing boats, you say? Oh, well, sorry, in that case, no, no. I'm sorry, but yeah, this load has to go somewhere else. Yeah, no, you can't have it, sorry. No, 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 no. Yes, I know. I, kn <laughs> I know you've paid for it, but no, no, no. You can't have it. Oh, you've locked me out of the locomotive. Well, in that case, you can have it. Um, that what would happen? That the week would go slow for Sunday. Anyway, there you are. All right. Okay. Yeah, see? Like this, I got a gold star. Otherwise, I would have gotten uh, silver. Uh, but it doesn't matter anyways. Oh, we've got scored a thousand points, even though I did a little bit of speed. Like, it was only speeding, but I was completely on time except for the last time because of the thing. But yeah, look at that. Uh, doesn't matter that much. It doesn't matter. Right, so with that, we have 17 minutes left. Uh, Alright, enjoy your free 37? Did this program work correctly? Ah, uh, close. Yes. Strange question to ask. Shut down. You've earned your gold star fair and square now, Shared Ice. <laughs> well, it's not that important. The points. Right. So, although it is nice, it is nice. It's a bonus. The route and the locomotive, that is the main part, and then the points is a little bonus. Sean is, try going about 30 minutes over time? Really? You know, you don't have to tell me to try that, to try doing that, because it will happen anyways, if I try or not, so... <laughs> okay, so let me... Okay, I'll end the stream now. 
I'll be back in a few minutes for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And yes, thank you very much for watching, and until then, bye!